Yo, what the dealio? How we doing today, baby? Hey, all right, so I'm not monitoring myself today, but that's cool, I can deal with that. Hey man, apologize for my uh my tardiness. As I explained to you before, it's my, uh, let me see, is this where I want it? Yeah. It's my nephew's um, birthday, it was yesterday. So I got all the kids this weekend. So honestly, I'm lucky I could even get on this motherfucker, bro. For real, for real. I had to, uh, <clears throat> I had to get up early and do a bunch of stuff for them. Cause they, uh, they crazy. To say the least, they crazy. To say the least, they crazy. They woke me up this morning and was like, oh, he, he got, you know, he got poop all on him. He got poop on my bed. So I had to clean up the bed. I had to clean the boy. I had to clean the laundry. I had to do a bunch of stuff, man. Kids, man, they ain't no joke, bro. Kids are no joke at all. Anyway, good morning. Let me jump into this music real quick. Get your coffees ready. Get your coffees ready. Get your smokes ready. Get your smokes ready. My smokes are not ready. My water is ready, though. That was what took me the last five minutes. Had to get, make sure I had some water. All right, let's see where we at. And I hope I can hear this, because otherwise monitoring is going to be no fun today. Let's see. I can't hear none of this shit, but I know what it is. I probably would be just as sad. Approaching at the job I have a dag. I can't miss my dad. I just met the girl I want, and I know she don't want me back. I just met the girl I want, and I know she don't want me back. I can't hear the freaking life that made me have no super black. Everybody I know is so stupid, so I'm stupid back. I'm about to lose my patience, never. What up, Azor? What up, Azor? trying to pop but they was trying to sum me nowadays when the pressure's on me i just lift my thumb and tell them stress is ugly nothing bugs me and that's what's lovely i can tolerate all of the mundane suffering because she's a show me and reminds me how i sent a bunch of angels to my crypto empowerment woke up in the a.m and i feel like going back to sleep i looked outside it's so dark i feel like i can nap for weeks if i had a thousand racks i probably would be just as sad Approaching at the job i have a dag i can miss my dad i just met the girl i want and i know she don't want me back i just met the girl i want and i know she don't want me back i can't hear the freaking life that made me have no super black everybody i know is so stupid so i'm stupid back i'm about to lose my patience never had a matter of fact sick and tired of Yeah, for some reason, as soon as this beat dropped, soon as this beat dropped, I was like, oh shit, I think I might have played this on this motherfucker before. Um, Alright, so my issue is that I can't monitor myself, so I'm feeling real iffy about the sound, but it's all good. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to talk near the mic. Uh, let me see. I got another track for y'all real quick. I got another track for y'all real quick. Go with this one. I 
I just need a little, I just need a little Can I plead a little, can I plead a little I speak from the middle, I shoot from the top To the day I drop, yeah And I come from the bottom, now my block is pop, yeah You made me plead a lie, made me plead a lie, yeah Welcome to the spot, but you shouldn't stop, yeah Don't get out your ride, probably get left right, yeah Don't get out your ride, probably get left right, yeah I need a lot for these fears and these nightmares to stop Each year I get more scared cause I'm not where I want These days so many replays I barely even talk My mind straight I get thinking pains I even stopped answering my calls I just need a little, I just need a little Can I plead a little, can I plead a little I speak from the middle, I shoot from the top To the day I drop, yeah And I come from the bottom, now my block is pop, yeah You made me plead a lot, made me plead a lot, yeah Welcome to the spot, but you shouldn't stop, yeah Don't get out your ride, probably get left right, yeah Don't get out your ride, probably get left right, yeah But God, oh my, please tell me why Why I gotta feel two ways about everything in my life I try, believe me, I try, but I don't see no return for it, so I'm starting to forget why. I just need a little, I just need a little, can I plead a little, can I plead a little? I speak from the middle, I shoot from the top to the day I drop, yeah. And I come from the bottom, now my block is pop, yeah. You made me plead a lie, made me plead a lie, yeah. Welcome to the spot, but you shouldn't stop, yeah. Don't get out your ride, probably get left right there. Don't get out your ride, probably get left right there. Welcome to the spot, but you shouldn't stop it. Don't get out your ride, probably get left right there. Don't get out your ride, probably get left right there. I need a. Yeah, those songs have similar endings. Um, those songs were definitely both from early 2017, and they were also from the same week. Even though they're on two different accounts, I could tell from the I can remember, but I can also tell from the name that they were dur- they were during the same week. I made like three tracks, and then I made like three more tracks. Uh, out of all of them, three tracks was real good, and this is three of them. Um, one of the other ones was Friends that I played yesterday. This John right here. Uh, anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. I can't hear myself, so I apologize if I'm too loud or I'm not loud enough. Um, I am happy to see you. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be here. Hey, what up, baby? What up? What up, practice? What up, practice? Yeah, so today... On this beautiful Wednesday morning. Today, the word of the day is going to be obdurate. Yeah, that shit was weird, right? Obdurate. Obdurate. See, it's funny because I've never heard this word. I've never used this word. This word actually just popped up yesterday while I was checking out some historical shit. So this is one of those probably old and obsolete words that doesn't mean what it used to mean and never gets used anymore like it used to get used. I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. Obdurate. It's O-B-D-U-R-A-T-E. Anyway, the meaning of the word is stubborn or unreasonably persistent, right? And this word used to have like a purely negative connotation, right? It used to mean stubborn and wrongdoing. But, you know, you know how times change, right? So now it actually has more of a connotation of like just persistence, like the, the act of persistence, whether good or bad. Um, now, I had some examples that I could give you out of uh out of the dictionary but i ain't finna do that i'm gonna go ahead and give you examples out of my personal life and out of the shit that i take in so anyway james harden was fined 100k i'm pretty sure you guys know about that um i don't know why he was fined 100k i feel like that's kind of weird he was fined 100k because he called daryl Morey a liar and daryl Morey is an agent of the nba and therefore he slandered the agent I don't know if, I mean, I don't know the official rules behind that shit, but it just seems logical enough that people who pay people money and have people represent them don't want those people to be unprotected when it comes to, you know, slander. So he basically called that man a liar, and then these people tried to pocket check him. 
And I think that's crazy because his issue right now is that he's missing money that he feels he's owed and deserved. So you can't run up on him and try to take more money. He's going to be extra aggressive if you try to take even more money from him. That's just not how you handle this issue. So uh, you dropped the ball, Adam, whatever the fuck your last name is. Adam, Adam Silver definitely dropped the ball. I know a lot of people give him credit, and they say he's a player's commissioner, and they say uh, David Stern would have never stood for a lot of the stuff that... Well, guess what? I think Adam definitely dropped the ball. There's, like, not too many things that I criticize Adam Silver for, but this is specifically not good. I don't like this at all. I think that that's stupid. And uh, it played out pretty well because the NBPA basically was like, nah, we disagree. We don't think that that's right. That shit don't make no sense to us. And, I mean, I'm not there. I'm not in it. But I disagree, too. I mean, that man took a fucking $14 million haircut for the team. And then the team turned around, didn't extend this nigga. And now he's out 14 mil, looking for another team, looking for another max contract. And now they're trying to take 100K out of his pockets because he's in his own private camp across the world in another country. Y'all know how vacation rules go. When you go out of the city, the same rules don't even apply. That was my first puff. Get your coffees ready. Get your coffees ready, man. I hope you got something to smoke. I really do. I really do. Um... But yeah, bro, that shit is stupid to me. That shit is so stupid. And that's just my opinion on the matter. Um, so yeah, I mean, in this whole situation, even though I'm a diehard Sixers fan, and even though I, I specifically need my team to come back next year in a position where they can win, and I also need all of this pressure to not be on my star, right, while we still have them, for the short time that we still going to have them, I need that to not be a thing. So with that said, I'm torn. Because on the one hand, you know, I definitely need all of those championship hopes to stay alive, especially for the season, because I can't have a whole season of just losing. Like, niggas already went through the process. We're not ready for that again. But then, on the other hand, I don't want this to be able to be done to the players because I don't want the next players to have to deal with this shit. I don't want people to just keep taking haircuts for billionaires and then getting fucked over and not get what they was promised, not get what they was you know, told that they was going to receive for it. Because if you ask me, he earned himself a max extension. They could say he was a failure. They could say he, was, he collapsed in the playoffs. My man gave you 240-plus points in a tight series, and both of those were in games that we needed it to happen. I don't understand this narrative. I don't know where this shit came from. It's like most of these motherfuckers wasn't watching basketball. It's like everybody just want to talk shit about James. James literally is the reason that we won the first game. In the fourth game. So, man, I don't know what niggas is talking about. I'm not mad at him. As a Philadelphia sports fan, I'm not mad at him. I welcome that nigga back eagerly next year. But obviously, we have to let go of Daryl. Anyway, um, Ray shortstop Wander Franco just got uh, put on the commissioner's exemption list. I don't know if this shit works the same way as the NFL, but I think it does. He was placed um, on leave so to speak while they're investigating him they're investigating him for messing with uh underage girls um and i mean i i was gonna try to look into this so i could give you some real actual reporting on this shit but he's 22 so that means that if he he could have possibly messed with a girl who was 17 said she was 18 in which case yeah it happens a lot you know not to me but it happens to people I know what's happening out there at, at the age of 22. I'm sure you're meeting 19-year-olds and 18-year-old girls and still are attracted to them. I don't think that that's out of the ordinary. Uh, you might even meet a 17-year-old girl and ask her how old she is, and she may say she's 21, so she could go drink with you. That's also not out of the ordinary, but no excuses. We'll see what happens, how that shapes out for my man. Uh, he's not my man. I don't know him personally, but he plays for the Rays, and they're not in our division, so I don't feel threatened. Um... Anyway, these two examples that I just gave, let's see how they apply to the word of the day. Stubborn and unreasonably persistent. Now, since I didn't take an actual firm stance on my man in the uh, underage thing, I'm not even going to apply it to that, right? But let's apply it to the James Harden thing. Is James being stubborn? Oh, hell yeah. Like, it came out a couple of weeks ago that the Sixers said, oh, we're willing to make it uncomfortable when it comes to this camp. James read that shit and was like, I'm willing to make it uncomfortable before we even get to camp. 
And I blow, I, you know what? I like it. I like it. I'm not mad at it. So, that to me is a nice, positive example of opulence. Give me a sec. You know, got these kids, baby. Like I told you. Anyway, um, obduracies is the word. It's that's a good word. I like that word, obduracies. So some of uh the obduracies that I see here is the obduracies of Daryl Morey, and he could be wrong. You know, if he's a hundred percent wrong, he's still pushing just for his job. Fuck him, I don't agree with that. But if he is just trying to be. A man of integrity and stick to what he's supposed to do, which is be responsible for the team and making sure that the team is winning, then I understand how he could be torn between that and a personal relationship. In which case, damn, it's a complicated situation and I wouldn't want to be in it, especially with no friends of mine. Um, now, what does this say? I can't read my own handwriting, dog. Oh, yeah. It's my nephew's birthday, as I mentioned. It was yesterday, but you know how it go. They woke up today, had ice cream and shit for breakfast. So they all wildin'. They running around and shit. I got them to listen to me for a couple of things, but there's a lot of things that they still gonna do. Um, they love me. They love me to death. But they know me for one thing. They can't lie to me, and I can't be convinced. Even if I don't have proof, I, can't conv I cannot be convinced. Like, it's straight up. Straight up can't be convinced. So with that said, I think they respect me for that, though. Because there's certain things that they try to get away with with other people. But then when they come to me, they look me dead in my face and just be like, nah, I ain't even going to do it to him. I'm going to just walk away. Or they just give up and take their punishment maturely, which I love. I love that shit. So to me, that's an, uh, that's an obvious example of like how my obduracies have paid off in certain ways. Do I have any negative examples today? I don't know. Let's see. Um, I told my homie yesterday that my intentions were pure. I actually said it on here, too. I said my intentions are pure, so I'm, I never have a reason to hide them. And he looked at me and said, you sure about that? You don't know everything about your intentions. You don't know what God got planned for you. You don't know what tomorrow brings. You don't know how much this person or that person might need you to play the role that you plan. So on and so forth. So he basically, he put me down. He basically let me know that I was most likely wrong. And uh, I'm still dealing with that. I'm still thinking about that. I, I can be wrong. I'm, I'm wrong on many occasions. But I, I got to adjust to it. <laughs> I got to adjust to the idea of it. Anyway, Lizzo just says she's going to drop another album. Let me say that again. Lizzo just said that she's about to drop another album. I don't know if y'all remember, but about two weeks ago, Lizzo was uh, being taken to court for sexual assault and discrimination. I said it before and I'll say it again. What a rollout. What a rollout, man. I'll be honest. I don't, I don't know how they do it. I really don't know how they do it. Like, if you think about it, it probably costs a lot less money to pay somebody, to pay a lawyer, to go and have it all just work out and get it, you know, because it's, it's, this is not criminal court, I don't think. I think this is a, I think this is a, what's the word? A civil. I think this is like a civil matter, you know, because this is a, an employee on an employer type of shit. So, you know, she ain't going to really get no criminal car charges. At the end of the day, she might have to pay somebody. And if she pays somebody, paying them is probably a whole lot cheaper than paying a whole bunch of publicists and advertisers and marketing agents and all that shit. So, well done, Lizzo. Good job. Hell of a rollout. Reminds me of how Uzi did it, too. But that's also an example of an abduracy. She is enduring. Oh, I see it. The D-U-R, the dur, endure, abdur. Yeah, she is enduring. She is going through it. And she is still putting out music. And she want to let you know the story behind it. She's going to plead her case. And y'all niggas going to pay for it. I ain't mad at it. Um, 
There was two fights at Eagles practice yesterday. So from what I understand, uh, and I don't know all the players on the uh, Colts like I know the players on the uh, Eagles, so I'm not going to name none of them. But from what I understand, one of the balls was mishandling our running back, Kenny Gainwell. Jason Kelsey ain't like that shit. So when he uh, got over to him, he pretty much blindsided him. And uh, he actually admitted that he, he it was a cheap shot and that he ain't that kind of guy and he don't he shouldn't do shit like that. It was really unprofessional, which is cool and all. But I will say this. And, and those things, like when you cheap shot somebody, right, and they not looking, ain't that like a real big danger? Like, isn't there a huge chance of like whiplash and all of that shit? So I'm pretty sure that's like a thing, because isn't that what Jokic got in all of that trouble for? And, you know, he wasn't, he damn sure wasn't hitting nearly as hard as Kelsey was hitting. So I will say that there is a concern with that. You know, you don't want that type of shit going down. Kelsey being a, a OG like he is. And also the player that he had blindsided, he was like, yo, it's football. I ain't tripping. I'm going to get my get back. Hopefully, I'm going to get my get back on week three or whenever we play him. He was like, I ain't tripping about that. But it's just... You expect the OGs not to blindside you, you know? You expect the OGs not to give you a cheap shot, which I think that was a pretty uh, accurate statement. I ain't mad at that. So, yeah, man. Don't be too wild out here because, I mean, at the end of the day, niggas just trying to win, right? And Jalen Hurts feeling about the whole thing because they had two fights, so they had to cancel practice. His statement on the whole thing was, I get paid to play football. I'm disappointed because I didn't get to practice. Right on brand. Right on brand. Let's go Jalen Hurts. Um, yesterday, the Phillies game was pretty amazing. Bryce Harper's got that power back. They did a Reese Hoskins interview. Uh, he's, he's abduring right now. He's, he's showing his abdur he's, he's showing how ab abdurate he can be by fighting back from that ACL injury. Um, will he be back this year? No. No. He just told us that he could run now. He, he just got to the point where he can run and put weight on it. So, I don't know. We're going to see. I don't know how that shit will affect his fielding or his swing. We got the continuous DH, so, you know, they got Bryce playing the field. Schwarber's actually becoming a plus defender. He's making plays out and left. So, I don't know, man. Is it possible that Reese can come back and make this team better? I think so. 30 more homers, 100 more RBIs? I think so. Absolutely. Um, yesterday, Trey had a, a, a kind of a rough day. He, had, he was 0 for 4 for the most part up until his last AB, and he got a walk-off. He got a motherfucking walk-off, bro. That's how it is, man. You got to abdoor, man. You could be 0 for 4, but then you get a walk-off, and now you're a hero, and they're dumping water on your head, and they're interviewing you at the end of the game, and everybody wants to be your friend. Sometimes you got to go through that type of shit. That's what I'm trying to go through right now. I got all of these kids over here. I'm trying my best not to be an ass. I got the cat right here, you know. In my bed last night, there was two babies and two cats. And then it was me, balled up in a little circle. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, sometimes you got to get woken up at 640 and clean up poop. And then when you're cleaning up the poop, maybe your nephew might try to jump up and uh, fix the shower curtain and pull down the whole shower curtain, you know, at 630 in the morning. Sometimes that shit happens, right? Sometimes that happens, but you got to display your abduracies. What up, brah? Happy to have you here, man. Happy to have you here. Now, if, all, if I could get all you niggas to show up on time one of these days, then y'all might actually be able to interact with one another. That is the goal, and I promise you, it's only day three of me hitting niggas up, so we going to get there. We going to get there. Um... I think I'm going to keep it pretty short today as far as the, uh, the talking portion because I got somebody coming already, I'm sure. Who that? Me. What's up? What you need? You don't need nothing? Okay. Well, check this out, baby. I'm recording right now. You can come say hi to the camera real quick, but then I got to kick you back out for a little bit, okay? All right, come over here and smile and wave. Let me use your little cute face to get me some uh some affection from my parents. Hey, yeah, look at that. Okay. All right, bye. Why you got that hot old hoodie on? That thing ain't making you hot? No? 
I know it's a robe, but it got a hood on it, so. But why that that robe not making you hot? Okay, that's fine. All right, have fun. Bye. Is that a racer? Yeah. Hey, man. Chill out. Man, can't pause me. Anyway, I got a quote for you. You're going to like this, too, since you're listening right now. What makes people weak? What makes people weak is their need for validation and recognition and their need to feel important. Don't get caught in this trap. As a quote from Paul Coelho. And the thing is, they walk Schwarber to get to Turner. You got to understand this, bro. Sosa didn't get a hit. Marshy got a hit. Then they walk Schwarber because he already had two balls to get to Turner. And what does Turner do? Walks it off, wins the game. So, yeah, let me, let me, let me repeat that. What makes people weak? Their need for validation and recognition. Their need to feel important. Don't get caught in this trap. Don't get caught in this trap. Now, I've been thinking, like, should I tell people, hey, I'm the Philly sports gaming stoic. <laughs> I don't know. I've been wondering how I should uh, address all of this and how I should address myself. But I'm going to keep doing this right now because this shit works for right now. Like, I pop on this, John. I give y'all a word. I talk about some shit that I think might or might not be relevant real quick. I know it's relevant to me, and it's probably relevant to the people who listen to me talk a bunch. And then I play some games, and then I give y'all a quote, and I'll be like, yo, peace. I'm going to see y'all niggas tomorrow. Uh, shit. I'm the next Mr. Rogers in my mind. I mean, I, I know I could definitely get better. Maybe I could get some finger puppets involved in this joint, get a couple of trains. But for right now, this is what we got. But if anybody got any ideas, I'm definitely happy to take some suggestions. But like I said, for right now, this is what we got. This is still only, uh, I, I say, what, my second or third week in operation? And I'm on, on some real serious shit. I say this with all of my heart for anybody who's listening. I can't wait to see what this shit look like a month from now. I can't wait to see what this shit look like a year from now. Because I told, I told boys maybe two years ago that I wanted to get into sports broadcasting. And I've been podcasting since then. And now I actually have a position where, well, not a position. Now I've got myself in a position where I could do a, a daily show. I'm living a motherfucking dream. And I put it all on my... Obduracies. <laughs> all on my stubbornness, all on my persistence, my refusal to give up. Now, like I said the other day, I failed at a whole bunch of shit, but you know what? Nigga ain't never quit. Nigga ain't ever quit. So, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and play a song for y'all while I roll up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get into this gaming portion of our show. I appreciate all of y'all. See what we gonna play. Nah, oh, that shit too old right there. Here, let's go with money. What's this? Four. I'm ready for the fall, the summer was mad crazy, summer was mad crazy. Fall, I'm ready for the fall, the summer was mad crazy, summer was mad crazy. Fall, I'm ready for the fall, the summer was mad ill, the summer was mad ill. Fall. I'm ready for the fall, the summer was not crazy, summer was not crazy Niggas really about that thing, one nigga try to fade me, one nigga dead rob me But I know where he's staying, heard that shit they said, it ain't even surprised me I heard it from their man, that nigga supplies me, oh I'm better from it all, the summer was mad crazy, friends was mad shady But it ain't a loss, talk to mad ladies, flexed on mad haters Everything I saw, I know I 
it on for later And it's making me greater Mindset on major Focused on regaining First lost my chick Then lost my friend Then lost my gig Then lost my crib And then another chick A couple more friends Then another crib Then I did it again Fall Ready for the fall The summer was mad crazy Summer was mad crazy Fall I'm ready for the fall The summer was mad crazy Summer was mad crazy Fall I'm ready for the fall, the summer was mad ill, the summer was mad ill, fall. I'm ready for the fall, the summer was mad crazy, summer was mad crazy. Acne, I get it poppin' like acne, I'm the quarterback, that's why they try and sack me. Don't wish it's time, try at me, I got enough people trying to hug and try and dab me. On a higher level, like I am a black kid, you ain't even see it, you was in the backseat. Running shit like a track me, need a pad like Maxi. I was born to be the black shit. You was born to be harassed. Man. Yo, I ain't heard that shit since a long ass time. That song is from 2018. Um, it had been a crazy summer. I had lost my job. I had lost a bunch of friends. I had lost a bunch of money. I had got robbed. It had been a crazy summer, and I was like, I'm just ready for the fall, dog. I'm just ready for the fall, baby. But anyway, let's get to this gaming. So I was struggling on this joint yesterday, and then I, uh, I stopped playing. And you know what I realized, guys? I'm much better at gaming when I'm not on stream. I promise you. I promise you. It was just like, I went through that joint. I only tried, I was, I was stuck on a boss fight yesterday. I probably did it about a good seven or eight times on this stream. And then when I got, uh, when I got off the stream, did the things that I had to do around the crib, sat back down, started playing again, beat that boss after two tries. And my first try, I got him down to like 80, 80%. And then, yeah, after that, it was, a, it was a wrap. It was Rizzy's. Oh yeah, we on some other shit. Now what? to expect honestly but you know what I do no I do know that I'm gonna smoke crazy is nobody that I've played with online has these guns well not these guns but nobody that I played with online has like standard guns everybody got like fucking lasers and radiation shooters and shit
I got this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I told you I'm recording, baby. Hold on. What'd you say? Can you watch me? Yeah, you can watch me. But if all the other kids come down here, I'm gonna have to kick y'all out, okay? Here, you wanna try right now? Here, hold on, I'm gonna kill him for you. Here, you can go ahead and try. You know how to shoot and stuff? It's this one. You gotta hold this, and then you press the other trigger. Yeah, or you could just go hit him with the hammer like that. You gotta look at him. You gotta swing the camera around and look at him. That wasn't a bad try. Alright. This isn't looking good. Skull over there putting on work. Stubborn persistence, man. I'm telling you. That's what's important. Is it bad? I think it's a great quality to have. I think it's a necessary quality if you're going to be successful in anything. Because before success, you know what's going to come? Failure. Oh, I just missed that out. I looked at chat real quick. I got this ring where if I perfect dodge, it'll give me my HP back. So I'm about to do that. Matter of fact, I got five of these, Johns. I don't I'll be all right. Yo, this skull's a game changer. Uh, how did I know? How did I know? Boss, where you at? I don't know, I'm looking for it. Where is it? Gave me the willies a little bit. Sure, let's go south. Whoa. Yeah, 
I'm about to put that ring on with the perfect dodge. Once I got that ring, it actually showed, like, it actually gives me a reward for perfect dodging. Changed the game, bro. That little bit of gratification for perfect dodging, like, really changed how I go yeah. about this. Ooh. Oh, you different. That type of damage to me. Sheesh. Now I need to now I need uh somebody to attack me so I can dodge them. And I ain't got no ammo. What's up with that? Alright, there goes some ammo. Maybe I should backtrack and see if some ammo dropped that I wasn't seeing. I'll use this for now. Just, I don't feel like being extra careful. Alright. I need ammo now. Okay, there goes some. Other thing is reloading. My nephew wasn't getting the rhythm of the uh, reload and the rifle, so he was getting castigated. I don't know what that means. I'm, I'm just just using a word. You can tell me if I use it wrong. What you say? Well, the board game that we are going to play, I'm not sure. I know I'll be done this at about 12. So maybe at 12. You ate already, right? Huh? Who didn't eat? Judah didn't eat. Is he asleep? Oh, he had a busy morning, you know? I can understand if he's a little tired right now. Plus, he went to sleep. He went to sleep in here yesterday. So, he must have left as soon as I went to sleep. He was asleep when I went to sleep. What you saw? Those are different items that I can use in battle to oh snap, to help me survive.
What? What he on? What he on? What is he on? Yes. Oh, that should not have hit me. Wow. That shouldn't have hit me either. Now I should be scared of my guys. I didn't think about it. I should have had my skull. What's that? Did I use one? I didn't use one, did I? Oh. Like I got one stolen from me. They stole one of my magics. Come on, skull. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Oh, they got. Damn. I did too. I saw him coming, but I didn't expect to get hit from behind before he got there. I was just waiting for him. I should have just started running. Can't stand in one spot too long. The blue thing. The blue thing. Oh, over there? Yeah, that, it's like a portal that I came through. That's where I came from. Ah, let's get the rifle. Skull held me down. That's all you got. What you saw? Oh yeah, I know. They're coming from like everywhere, actually. Whoa. Alright, that's the sound of a boss. Can't walk around here reckless because it's going to be a lot of other people coming. Ah! 
about to creep up on me. Can't be too careful. Can't get surrounded. it. Oh, he done started with him. If I get to this next level pretty quickly, I'll be able to play that game with you, John. These guys. Give him a chance to breathe, baby. Oh, it's over. Uh, east. Oh, I didn't know you was in the game, dog. my dodges
did he change my ring back? Cause I'm not, I'm not getting health back from my perfect roll. Oh God, what is that? Where is he? Oh, uh-oh. 